Welcome back. It's a sensational case that's taken many twists. TV haunter Indrani Mukherjee arrested for the murder of Sheena Bora in 2012, while earlier it was believed Sheena was Indrani's sister. After interrogation, the Mumbai police revealed that Sheena Bora was actually Indrani's daughter. Well, we spoke to Indrani's husband, former star CEO Peter Mukherjee, who was as shocked by these revelations. Uh, she was arrested allegedly for the murder of her sister, but now it's been revealed that it was Akshina Bora was actually her daughter. Uh huh. That's correct. I'm I'm hearing that too, and I'm, you know, naturally and obviously very shocked by that news. So, so you're saying that this is news to you as well? Well, it is. Uh, you know, in terms of being corroborated, it is news. I had heard of this possibility some years ago, but I had not. I had never believed that to be the case. I had dismissed it as being. Uh, figment of um, you know rumor mongering etc for some reason but I never really took that seriously I, just, I asked Indrani about it and she said that's rubbish so that there was no more to discuss so when now it's being now it's coming to me from uh, a more credible source such as the police etc then I am finding that to be a, a much more um, uh, you know shocking kind of situation and I'm you know starting to believe that what I was told four years ago might well have been true and so what effort are you making uh, after Indrani uh, was arrested? Uh, she's in police remand till the 31st. Mm -hmm. Well, the effort I'm making is simply to be, to be around and be, be available to the police in case they need any more information from me or they need any um, uh, further clarification from me about anything. Um, and, uh, you know, I just hope that they can conduct their investigation without any interference from anybody. And, uh, and have this matter cleared up as quickly as possible and let the law take its course. Right, sir, and it seems that uh, it was Indrani's driver. Uh, he is the one who was arrested in another case, and he uh, then uh, uh, told the police about this case, how he was involved in uh, the, the right. disposing of a body. Right. So I, so I hear, and I'm finding this entire thing very, very interesting, as you can, as you can imagine. So I'm... As I say, I'm finding it very hard to process this information in my mind about all the various factors. One is uh, the driver's statement, one is disposal of evidence, one is she now being a daughter or a sister. So the entire piece of the puzzle is very, very disturbing. And, you know, it obviously makes me feel like I've been kept in the dark for the last 15 years about a whole bunch of things in my entire marriage. All right, so this, mu this must be a very difficult time for you, but it seems that it, some of the information is that Sheena was unhappy, that uh, Indrani was unhappy with Sheena's relationship uh, with, with your son? Yes. Yes, Indrani was, Indrani was unhappy, and so were Indrani's parents, um, and to some extent, so was I. But, um, you know, they were grown-ups, and they were adults, and they, you know, continued to exercise their options. Um, but... Um, Obviously, there was pressure from, you know, parents, uh, Indrani's parents, to, you know, not encourage this relationship. And so when I was told by Indrani that China has been um, sent off to the U.S., then there was a sense of, you know, belief that that is, that is probably the, the right approach, that they've sent her to the United States for further studies. And, um, and that is what I advised my son at that point, that she is to uh, move forward and uh, that he is to move forward and, and you know, restart his life. So Mr. Mukherjee, what you're essentially saying in 2012 when Sheena just disappeared, you were told by your wife that she had gone off for further studies? She'd gone to the United States for further studies, yeah. She, she was going to do this uh, in, in Los Angeles. She was going to, she'd met somebody in Nagpur and she was going to go there and complete her further education. And tell us your reaction yesterday when the police arrived and arrested Indrani. Well, my reaction was I, I had no different to anybody's reaction in that kind of situation. I was completely dumbstruck. I was, uh, you know, I was shocked. I was horrified. I had no idea that this was something that had got, uh, you know, that had escalated itself to this kind of level and this kind of uh, me. level of, of, of criminality, so to speak. Uh, and the accusation was something which I have never, ever anticipated in my, in my life. 